Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about how to make a donut in Illustrator. It seems fairly simple but there's a couple funny little tricks that you learn along the way. So let's start with making a circle. So L, press shift, make a large circle and this will be our base shape for a donut. And we're just going to copy it. We're going to paste it in place, control shift V. And we're going to use the scale tool to make the whole of the donut. So we want it to be right about there. I think that should do it. Now we select both of our shapes. Let's make sure the stroke is the same on both of them. And we're just going to minus the front in Pathfinder. Great. Now if we select our object, let's give it a nice, well, let's give it a brown donut-y type color like that. And we're going to do one thing. We're going to select this and we're going to go control shift v paste in place and we're going to arrange it and bring it to the back like this and then hold shift and drag it just a bit and what this is going to do is give us let's again let's move this to the back arrange that to the back with this color back here we're going to give it a gray about so and no stroke and that'll be our shadow effect as you can see there and I think we can get rid of the stroke here it's not necessary so now we have our base shape fairly simple now we want to add a, a color effect to this but what uh, what's to give a 3d effect usually we use a gradient so maybe a lighter color here and darker color on the edges but since this is a compound path we can't actually do that if you go to object we can't apply a gradient mesh to this so we're going to do a trick which consists of making a box so we'll press m and we want it to be the same thickness as our donut let's do this so from here to roughly there and we want it to be somewhere about this long it doesn't matter so much now we're going to give this the color that we want the glazing to be. In this case, let's take a pink. Something nice and bright like that. Perfect. And then with that selected, we go to Object, Create Gradient Mesh right here. And we're going to divide it into two rows and four columns. So this will correspond to the center of our uh, donut. We'll wrap it around. And each one of these will correspond to one of these corners right here. We want the appearance of center and a good highlight. Great. Now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to select the direct select tool and select all of these pieces, but not these two right here. And we're going to move this anchor point to that point right there. Then we're going to press the R button. We're going to select this point right here. R is for rotate. And then we're going to hold shift and rotate it 90 degrees. Then we just repeat this process again. So press A, let's select these pieces right here, deselect this, and move this anchor point to roughly right there. Press R, click on that anchor point, rotate twice, and then once again, press A, select those points, let's deselect these two and bring this anchor to right about there. Press R again, rotate it twice. And finally, the last move, select these two, not this, not that, and move this anchor point to here. So it's roughly in line with that. And press R, click and rotate it to 90 degrees. Now we're just going to modify these anchor points so that they kind of correspond with our shape. So just press shift, move them out. Yay, so, same deal, shift, move it out, have it grow a bit, that. It's okay if it comes out a bit. This one, shift, this, hello shift, hold it down, good. 
and a bit more. I know this is tedious, but it gets the effect done. Great. But now, as you can see, it's kind of a funny uh, shading effect that we have in here. To change the color of the interior shading, we're going to actually select the individual anchor points, and you can change the color in here. So we're going to change it to a kind of light purple, like this. And we're just going to copy that color, so press OK. And you see it changes. So again, we choose here. Make sure it's the same. Duck. Choose here. Make sure it's the same. And then right about here. There's actually two nodes right here, which is kind of annoying. Sometimes I put them apart. Let's go there and give it to there. Perfect. And then bring this node back so it's flush. Then we're just going to modify the interior of these points right here. So give this and shift like that so we have more circular profiles. Again, they don't need to be so perfect. Like that. All right. Now, to add a couple extra effects, we can do a couple things. We can take these nodes, these anchor points right here, sorry, and bring them in just slightly from the center, like this. Actually, I have to adjust these in just a moment. Put that to there, now and roughly to there. Great. And with that, we can give it a kind of a crinkled effect by using the warp tool right here. We want a small brush size like this. And we just select this and use the warp tool right here. Just along this edge. And you can just kind of pucker it, give it a little riveted slight edge like this. So it looks like the cream is not absolutely perfect on the side, but a bit more naturally distributed. Sorry, the glaze. So there we go. That gives a kind of more realistic appearance. We're going to add a one, well, two more steps. We're going to use our circle tool and we're going to create kind of a perfect circle about that big. We're going to give it white color to match with the background. And then we're going to just put it right about here. Then press Alt, third right there, and Alt to right there to give the effect of a bitten donut. Now, the final thing we're going to add to this is some sprinkles. So we'll go to our tools right here, rounded rectangle, extend maybe about that big. Let's give it a green color like that. Good. And then we'll go into our swatches, sorry, into our brushes. And we'll just drag this into here. It doesn't really matter much. And make sure it's a scatter brush like that. We're going to keep the size fixed. We're going to keep the spacing random like this. Give it a random scatter. We don't want these values to be too big. And a random rotation like that. And the colorization, we're going to keep it as hue shift. Okay, so we press OK. And now with the pen tool, just draw around to about there. This, now we're going to use a brush right there and make the fill absolutely nothing. Now we have a scattering of sprinkles. And finally, let's give uh, another color of sprinkles. So again, tap around. Do it. And if we give this once again, use our new scatter brush. And let's change the color to white. And there we have it. Let's, you can, of course, adjust these anchor points to make sure that nothing is sticking out. You can add more sprinkles, less sprinkles, but there you go. You have your 3D donut. It's a bit more complicated, took a bit longer than you might have expected. But using these tools, um, you're going to find two other projects. And hopefully uh, you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, 
hopefully it works out for you. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, check out our videos, and have a great day. Ciao.